With our design, we basically made a steam-powered hot plate. So the steam actually goes into an aluminum plate structure, uh, and the autoclave sits on top of that. And the reason we chose to do that is, first of all, it uh, requires no modification of the autoclave. So you don't have to get our autoclave. You can have any autoclave that fits in our hot, hot plate. Uh, and then the system will still work. As the steam travels to the plate, uh, the plate is heated through convection, and the autoclave is just right on top of that plate. So, I mean, essentially, the plate itself really just becomes like a stovetop. You know, it keeps heating up, and it becomes really hot, and then by this resting on top of it, uh, just by conduction, uh, the autoclave itself heats up. And we've been successful. When it's a sunny day, we can get the autoclave up to 121 degrees Celsius, and it's able to sterilize uh, medical tools. Uh, the idea behind the hot plate was to make the design easy to use. Um, everyone's familiar with the traditional hot plate. That's what they use. They're just powered by propane stoves. Here we've gone for a renewable design. So uh, steam enters here. It flows evenly around the surface of the plate, giving a nice uh, even heat transfer to the bottom of the autoclave. Most of the work went into getting the plates done. We had, because we had a, it was a process, we had a couple of plates before we came to this thing. Building the box just took a couple of hours, really, and it was mostly Will. You know, you can take this to someone who doesn't necessarily have an engineering background and give them a 10-minute introduction on how it works, and they should be pretty much set to go.